Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, Naveen Tamta MXL VBA. If you are a new visitor to my channel, I would request you to kindly subscribe to my channel so that notifications of my upcoming videos would reach out to you on time. So friends, in today's video, we will talk about a dynamic index match function with row function. This is a dynamic function guys and if you will compare this function with VLOOKUP then this is a far far better function than VLOOKUP. So I have an example here. On 1st of Jan I have got this data like receive date, ID, timestamp, revenue segment and this. And basis of we have a common thing here which is ID. And basis of this ID, I have to fetch the required details like employee ID, employee name, and date of joining, which is there in my employee ID, employee data uh, sheet. Okay. So if I apply this simple VLOOKUP function here, basis of this employee, you know, this ID, this unique ID, and I am fetching the required details from this sheet. So I have got the result, then I have changed the column index number and then the column index number. And now I am, you know, changing the format of this state and dragging this formula. So as of now, everything is looking perfect because we have had the required data. But guys, if your source data is very much dynamic, and your column gets shuffled on day to day basis. Let's say today it is on B column. Tomorrow, if it is, you know, it has got shuffled, let's say. Now it is on column D. And on third gen, this is on column H, means on the last. Then this VLOOKUP function will, you know, will not work here and will give you trouble. I am just showing you the example because as of now we have had the required details on 2nd of Jan if you will be testing this data here so everything will get changed into hash and is because now what this VLOOKUP function is doing it is looking for you know it is looking for that ID here on column B but in place of this ID we have got date that is why you are getting hash and is here so you know guys uh, in today's uh, world because uh, i have seen in many companies that data is very much dynamic every day the column gets shuffled so people face so many problems so that is why this idea came into my mind to make this video so this index match function will solve your problems with row so i am going to apply this function here but before i start what i will do is i will go to this name box and i will copy this row number from here now i will apply index so guys in index i am taking the whole i will you know in index i will go to employee data and I will take the entire data which I need to fetch there from A to D. Just fix it. Then put in a comma and use row. And use control V. The same cell, you know, the uh, cell number which we have copied from here. Now close your parenthesis and put in a comma now you are required to use match function in this match function what you are looking for is you are looking for this particular header which is employee id and where you will get the required details related to this particular id and particular headers in your source data which is employee id okay employee data 
so here you will just need to give the reference of the headers of the source dump means the the required data okay and fix it as well and close it with exact match and close with double parenthesis now guys if you hit enter you have got the result so just simply drag this formula and you are not required to use you know change the column index number here as well just control d and control r so you have got the desired result guys now let's say because you know this is the example of first of jan where your employee id is means is this unique id is there on column d now i am going to paste the data for second of jan where you can see this id is let's say this id is there on column a okay here it was on column d and here it is on column a if i will copy this data and paste here can you see there is no impact guys because this dynamic function is looking for this id and this header here in this you know in in this sheet that is why it is giving you the it is not giving you any error okay and if i will paste the data for third of gen here so you can't see any impact in your you know in your data which you are fetching from there but if uh, you know if uh, you had used vlookup function here as we have seen in this uh, you know in the beginning that we had got hash and as here so guys start using this dynamic function because this function is the one which will never ever put you down so guys this is all about today's video and uh, i hope you will like this video so if you have liked this video kindly subscribe to my channel this is my heartiest request to you and share with your friends as of now i am signing off guys bye bye take care and jai hind